Hello, everyone. Welcome to our session, Amazing Mobile Capture Experiences Made Easy. I'm Steve Craig. I'm a product owner for mobile development at MyTech Systems. And I'm Ashok Singer, lead Android developer at MyTech. MyTech is a global leader in mobile capture and identity verification solutions. We are excited to be with you here at Fendever to talk about MyTech products. MyTech is headquartered in San Diego. Our technologies are used by the largest banks in the world. And in fact, over 4,100 financial institutions are using our products. And in fact, if you have ever deposited a check from your smartphone, we want to thank you for that. Yes, and if you've ever experienced an automatic capture in your mobile deposit, you've likely used MyTech MySnap. That's our SDK for mobile capture. It's available for iOS and Android platforms. So today, we're, we've got a scenario for you, a bit of a role play. In an office building far, far away, I am the product manager for the MyBank mobile application. And in this stretch role, I will play the role of an Android developer for MyBank Android app. So here's the scenario. We just deployed our new account opening features last week. Initial reports are in. Uh, we have a check-in with our division VP any moment now. Steve, are the KPIs in for our deployment? <sighs> yeah, they're in, but it's not looking good. What is the problem? Well, we had 10,000 application starts. 10,000? That's massive. No, but there's a problem. Only 1,000 actually opened and booked through. Too much load? I thought we have the state-of-the-art IT infrastructure set up. No, it's, it's not about load. Our, our peak usage is, is well under our capacity. Must be something with the app flow. Hmm. Yeah, I reviewed the source code last week. I didn't see anything wrong in that. Something wrong with the form? No, I talked with the QA team. They said they tested it across hundreds of devices. They didn't find any bugs or, or any issues with it. Yeah, the code looks fine. It's so frustrating. You know, any minute now, the division VP is going to come in. We need to have a root cause analysis. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be happy. Yeah. yeah. He's a tough guy. Yeah. Oh, hey. Mobile team. What's up with this conversion catastrophe? <sighs> you I know, hope you realize that there is money flowing out of my app every second we waste. Yeah. Well, we've been doing a lot of investigating. Our, our reports have reports. We're making a lot of good progress. What do you mean, progress? We need a solution. I tried this out myself. I want to tell you, I couldn't even get through the UX form after form. Mm. My thumbs wore out. So I need you to rethink this, find a solution, or I'm going to rethink our mobile team staffing. Mm. Okay. Right. Ashok, did you hear that? Yeah, I need to update my resume. No, no, the, the problem he said about the, the form. The form has got too much typing. Shall we remove some fields from the form? No, we, we can't take the, the fields out because our customer information program requires it. But if only there was a way to, to capture the data fast and accurate, but we need something quickly because we're just losing too many accounts. Can you take a look, do some research on it? Sure, absolutely. I'll be back later. Let me work on it. So let's look at the, the application form in its current straight state and see how it looks like. Oh, this is actually a long form. Too many fields. And all these are basic details. No wonder why customers are not filling out the form. I wonder if there is a solution that automatically pre-fills the form and saves customers time. I should stop dreaming and get back to work. So let's recap the problem. So we deployed the application last week. We have a low account opening rate. Our application form is long. A lot of keystrokes for the customers, and that's why they are not filling out the form. But before I search for any solution, I need to make sure that it's secure because it's a banking app. It's easy and convenient for the end users to use it, and it's easy for the app developers to integrate the SDK. Let me Google something about this solution. So it says photo fill from MyTech systems, quick and accurate. It uses device camera to automatically scan multiple documents. And once this SDK is integrated in my app, I can use it to scan not only checks, but also driver's licenses, passports, other, other kinds of documents. And it says it pre-fills the form, data into the, the forms. That's exactly what I'm looking for. 
And this SDK itself doesn't send data to the web. It returns the data to my app, and my app has complete control of, of which data to send to the web or not. It's very easy for the end customers to use because it scans the driver's licenses, and they don't have to type in the data. And it's easy for the developers to use. So it's actually compliant to all my business rules. So the way this library works is you integrate this SDK in your mobile app, you scan the back of the driver's license, and then you scan the front of the driver's license. You, the app will send these scanned images to the server and will return the data back that can be pre-filled out in the, the form. So let me go ahead and download this SDK from my tech developer's website. And there is a free trial of this SDK. That's pretty awesome. So once we download the SDK, the folders and the files will look like this. So there's the API documentation file folder. There, there's the library modules folder that has all the library files. There is the localized resources folder, so it supports multiple languages. And there is a sample app from which I can copy and paste this, the required source that I need. And it has a bunch of other documents about developer's guide, talks about the features, and the release notes of the SDK. I think this has all the required materials, resources that I need to get started. And there, there are basically five development steps in this workflow. So I will integrate the My, MySnap SDK. We'll use MySnap to capture the back of the driver's license. We use it to capture the front of the driver's license. Again, send these scan images to the server, get the data back, and we, we will pre-fill pre the form. So the first step in this integration process is to integrate MySnap. So again, there are three simple sub-steps. You copy the MySnap library files in your app. You customize the SDK based on the look and feel of your application. And you update the Gradle file of your application. And there is a SDK available for Eclipse IDE also. So in the first step, you copy the library files from the, the downloaded SDK into the libs folder of your application. In the second step, as I mentioned, you, cop the, you customize the SDK, you change the assets, you change the string tokens, and you can have the, the look and feel of your application. The third step, you update the, the Gradle file and add these library files just to make sure that the library, your application knows that it uses these libraries. In the second step, we will add a button or any widget to the application where we can implement an on-click functionality so that we can start MySnap from it. So once we have the button, we override the on-click listener for that, and we start MySnap. The MySnap will return these, these scanned images back to the application. And once we have the back of the, the driver's license, we'll start MySnap again to capture the front of the driver's license. So once we have both the front and back of the driver's license, we send these images to the server, MyTech server. It processes these images, will extract the data using advanced OCR algorithms, and will return the data back to the application in a JSON format. We'll use the data to prefill the form. As you can see here, like the JSON object has all the required fields, like first name, middle name, last name, and we can use that to fill the added fields of the form. And the, request, the, app, the server expects the, response, the, the request in a JSON format. So you basically specify all the fields like device, device version, operating system, whether it's an Android or iOS. You specify the front image, the back image, using all these the, the key value pairs. Let's jump to the, the code demo. So as I explained, the first step in this process was to integrate MySnap, and I have went ahead and copied all these library files. I have copied all the resources here and updated the Gradle file with the required MySnap library files. So the next step in this process is to add a widget 
that when user clicks, starts the MySnap. So in this case, I'll add a button. So I'll just uncomment the code to save time. And we'll align this button with the rest of the, with the, rest of the form. And you see here, so we have a button now. So the next step in this process is to overwrite the on-click functionality in Android and start MySnap. So in this case, we implement the on-click functionality. As you can see here, I have a reference to the button and I overwrite the on-click functionality here. So we have the on-click listener implemented here, and I'm starting MySnap from here. So when you start MySnap, you basically send an intent. You basically create an Android intent. You set these MySnap parameters to SDK, and it will start the MySnap. The important thing here are these two parameters. So one is the capture mode, the second is the document type. MySnap supports two, two different kinds of capture modes. One is the video, and one is the manual. In video mode, MySnap won't allow you to take images of a, a toilet seat or a, a half document. Because when you send these, these snap images to the server, server will reject these images, resulting in poor app reviews or unhappy customers. So in video mode, we make sure that image is only taken when it detects the four corners, when the light is sufficient, when the image is not blurry, so that when the MySnap is integrated, the, the, the application reviews goes up, and the same with the app rating as well. The second parameter is the document type. As I mentioned earlier, MySnap supports multiple documents checks, driver's licenses, passports. So you specify what kind of document you want MySnap to capture. In the workflow, we want to capture the back of the driver's license, which is barcode. So we use PDF 4117 document type. So when the button is clicked, it will send the intent to the MySnap. And when the document is captured, we will get the result in on activity result Android callback function. And we'll get the result in P using PDF4117 result code. So once we have the back of the, the driver's license, the next step in the work, work process is to start MySnap to capture the front of the driver's license. So again, we will start MySnap again, with, but with a different document type. It's driver's license. So we'll uncomment this code, and this way, in the process, it will start MySnap again. We'll send an intent to the SDK. We'll start MySnap to capture the front of the driver's license, and we will get the result back using video and still result codes, depending upon in which mode you started the MySnap. If it's video mode, you will get success video. It's manual, you'll get success still. So once we have the front and back of the driver's license, next step in this process is to send these images to the server. So I've written a standard asynchronous task to send these images. So asynchronous task, and I'm using HTTP URL connection to send this client data to the server. You could use either default HTTP client or HTTP client, any Android class to send this, this data. And the important part here is to send this request in a JSON format, as I explained earlier, with all the required fields, like document type, driver's license, issuing state, device, device version, browser. You specify all the fields. And the important thing here is to send this data, the back of the driver's license or the front of the driver's license, in a base64 encoded format, because that's what the server expects to receive. And once the server receives the data, it processes this 
the images, and we will get the result back, response back in a JSON format. We will send this response back to the application, as explained earlier, so that this data can be filled out in the form again. As you can see here, the form receives the, the JSON object. The JSON object, we parse all the fields, customer first name, middle name, last name, and we've, we set this data in, in our fields. In all the fields, we set these, these fields. So that is how it's so easy and convenient to use and integrate MySnap in any Android app. Ashok. I saw the VP's Tesla in the parking lot. I think he's back from lunch. Do we have progress made? Yes, we have a working model. I already integrated MySnap in, uh, in our application, and it's the latest technology from MyTech Systems. MyTech Systems? I think we already use their SDK in our mobile app. That's true. That's great. Are, are you ready to do a demo? Sure, absolutely. Mobile team. Oh, hey. You have a solution. You know, Ashok's been working hard. We have it solved. He was about ready to do a demo. All right, let's see it. So as you can see here, this is the same form that we have, and I added a button here, but it could be an image or it could be any field where we can implement the on-click functionality. So when user clicks on this, this button, it starts the MySnap to capture the back of the driver's license. So once the back of the driver's license is captured, we start the MySnap to capture the front of the driver's license. And the cool thing about the MySnap is that it provides consistent messages to the user. So it's finding that the user is holding the device too far from the document. It's asking the user to get closer. And once it detects the four corners, it takes the image. We send these images to the server. Right now, you see a blank screen because I haven't added any progress bar. But once you add that, and you can see the data is already pre-filled in the form. Wow. That's amazing. That's awesome. So can we get this in the next sprint, maybe? Next sprint, Steve? It's already done. It's, it's already done. All we need to do is upload to Google Play, and we can publish? Yes. We just need to click the Publish button. Shall we? Ship it. All right, but let's push the button. <laughs> done. High five. <laughs> we did it. And that, everyone, is how easy it is to integrate MySnap into your Android app. Shortly after putting this app out, our conversion rates started to climb. The VP was happy, and Ashok and I, we were heroes. So what you saw today was the PhotoFill integration of MySnap in an Android app. But we do have solutions for iOS and mobile web. That's right. MySnap is not just for check deposit. We have it for account opening. You can do loan origination, balance transfers, a whole lot and more. Yeah, please stop by our booth to learn more about the MyTech products. We, we would like to, love to talk to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.